But yeah, like it, it's satire. They're making fun of people like Ollie London who will look at this and because they are so terminally online and like pathologically obsessed with trans people, like way more than any person should be, probably way more than most trans people are, frankly. And like it's negative energy, not even positive like some trans people who are like very obsessed with trans stuff are. Like this is not normal. Like you're smoking fucking glue. If you see this and you're in a position, mentally speaking, where you look at it and you're like, yeah, this is definitely not satire. This is completely serious. This is 100%. They're actually doing this. They're actually making the bathrooms at the concerts all species, not even all gender, and they're putting litter boxes in. Like, you've literally got to be on something to see this and be like, yeah, that, that's probably real. So Ollie London, radical racial affirming care activist, most famous for failing to pass as a Korean man, as a white British man, got a whole bunch of plastic surgery, really just messed his face up in the fruitless attempt to cross the racial gap, maybe build some bridges, you know, maybe it was a radical social justice <laughs> exercise, you know, an empathetic one, you know, They're trying to walk in another person's shoes. Uh, who also is famous for saying that he wanted to get, and I'll say because we're near the beginning of the video, what's the best way to say this? His gentleman's gear shrunk, like shortened, as in, like a surgery, in order to, and I quote, I might be paraphrasing the quote a little bit, but quote, make it be more Korean? The reason why is because Ollie London was uh, very obsessed with Jimin, I believe from BTS, the K-pop boy band, uh, and wanted to be him. So much so that he dumped uh, untold amounts of money into plastic surgery in a fruitless attempt to do so. It didn't work. I would imagine he probably had a little bit too much money to play with. Probably daddy's money, who's to say? And uh, it, it, he's got a lot to say about trans people, as it would turn out. And he's trying to use his experience racistly trying to become Korean to uh, say that he has some kind of information or like inside knowledge of the trans experience, <clears throat> which is laughable in many ways like it's actually hilarious and it's the most recent grift that he's settled on he used to just be like a provocateur and it's like yeah man i'm gonna try to be korean as a white man and you know people are gonna get mad about it and that's gonna give me negative attention because all attention is good attention to the simple-minded and i might be able to grift a couple dollars off of it as well and you know, it seemed to work out fairly well hey come here come here come here listen to me come here I've got something for you, and it may or may not be legal in your state of residence. I encourage you to look it up. We've got, if you haven't already overdosed on my content, we've got another channel for you, Con Your Channel 2. Wow, look at that. It's very cool. It's got a nice banner as well. It says Con Your Channel 2. Above it, in katakana, Japanese, it says Konyua Chaneru Ni. And below in Spanish, it says Canal de Conor Dos. So you could read that three ways. Uh, it's good stuff. We'll have gaming. We'll have miscellaneous segments. We'll likely upload as much, if not more, than the main channel. Uh, I think it's probably good, like, second monitor content where you just, like, listen to it and it's background noise while you, I don't know, uh, elope with somebody's mother in a long-winded way of trying to get back at them because they've wronged you in some way. And I think she'll enjoy it, too. So, go subscribe, and, you know, you may regret it, but at that point, you just leave it subbed, and uh, whenever new videos come out, just watch them and put it at 1% volume, and just let it run, you know? No harm to you, I don't think, unless you have, like, a data cap. Anyway, appreciate you. <laughs> now he's been posting obsessively about trans people, he even wrote a book about it, but uh, how does not Ollie London, it's probably British voice, right? Non-binary singer Dorian Electra makes all restrooms at her concerts all species and leaves a cat litter box in the toilets for, quote, all animal identifying concert goers. It is, like, so clearly a joke, making fun of people like Ollie London. Like, I know of Dorian Electra. They are a non-binary musician, singer, songwriter, maybe even producer. Their music is, you know, it's not really my tempo. I respect it, though. Uh, and they're into a lot of other music that I do like and collab with artists, you know, in the umbrella of genres that I do enjoy. And we actually did a video where Anthony Padilla interviewed a bunch of gender fluid people. Wait, Dorian Electra might be non-binary or gender fluid or both. My bad. The woke mob, they might, you caught me. They might cancel me. If Dorian Electra is actually gender fluid and not non-binary, my bad. Regardless. And they play a lot with that, with their gender expression in their music videos and whatnot. It's pretty cool. It's pretty high effort, high production value music videos too from what I've seen. Um, so Dorian here is posting what I assume is a TikTok. 
and they say, you guys spoke and I listen. So you got all gender restrooms. Check this out. Oh, there's even, listen. there you go. I'm making all the bathrooms at my concerts not only gender neutral, but species neutral. Species neutral. This is to go even further beyond. I will be providing litter boxes in the bathrooms for all animal identifying concert goers on my tour. Now that's inclusivity in action. Now how the fuck is a dog girl or a cat boy gonna use that tiny ass litter box with a lid on it? Like, human beings are pretty big. You could have just gotten an uncovered litter box. Like, we're trying to be inclusive here, but we haven't even done the research to do it right. And I think that's what Ollie London is outraged about, frankly. I think it's because, clearly, Dorian Electra is just pandering to the trans species demographic. And it's so clearly in bad faith and just for clout and clicks and, like, brownie points. Because nobody's fitting in that. Like, what am I meant to do with that? Like, the, the cat boy's gonna come in and, like, hold it up or, like, put it on top of the toilet and, like, stick themselves in when they use it? Like, what if they need to have a bowel movement? You're not thinking far enough ahead when it comes to this stuff, I fear. And, and it's evident in, you know, this action here. Also, right next to the toilet, like, you could have put it on, I don't know the exact configuration of this room, but you probably could have found another spot for it, so that there's no splashback from anybody using the toilet from a standing position, as, you know, people with a, should we say, gentleman's gear, and often gentlewoman's gear, may do. You try your best to avoid it, but splashback does happen, you gotta be careful out there. So that's probably what Ollie London is mad about, if I had to venture, I guess. But yeah, like, it, it's, 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 it's satire. It, they're making fun of people like Ollie London who will look at this and because they are so terminally online and like pathologically obsessed with trans people, like way more than any person should be, probably way more than most trans people are, frankly. And like it's negative energy, not even positive like some trans people like, who are like very obsessed with trans stuff are. Like it, this shit is not normal. Like, you're smoking fucking glue. If you see this, and you're in a position, mentally speaking, where you look at it and you're like, yeah, this is definitely not satire. This is completely serious. This is 100%. They're actually doing this. They're actually making the bathrooms at the concerts, all species, not even all gender, and they're putting litter boxes in. Like, y you've literally got to be on something to see this and be like, yeah, that that's probably real. And like, you could say that it's just a grift and you're trying to make money. But, like, if that's the case, like, if Ollie London understands that this is a joke, the dumbasses in the comments don't. <laughs> There's a fair amount of people that are taking this seriously when clearly it's not meant to be. Like, literally, it starts. Like, the, even the way that it's written. You guys spoke and I listened. I'm making all the bad dudes with your Amber put in fucking cat box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, it's so clearly a meme. But this happens all the time. Let's see, 1.4k likes. How are cats supposed to open that door? Not very inclusive and accommodate. That's true. That's a real one. I, I, I probably shouldn't have jumped, you know, been too hasty in the condemnation. That's actually real. There's not even a cat door that you've sawed into the bottom of the door. What are you doing? Also, I got to watch out for the my pussy and bio in the comments. Let me just quickly scroll through. Now we're good. <clears throat> Is that person going to clean the litter boxes as well? You mean you would imagine, right? Like, come on now. Who else is gonna? Not the people using the litter boxes, not even if it was just a public bathroom, which this seems to be, but even in a private setting, the people using the litter boxes aren't also the ones cleaning them, right? Like, I live with cats. I've been trying to teach them how to clean their own litter boxes, but they're not fucking listening. They're too stupid. So, like, we have to do it for them, unfortunately. So it's probably the same thing here. <clears throat> This is great news, Ollie, as I often prefer to shit in litter boxes when attending concerts. I feel seen. Thank you, Redditor. Up dudes to the left. That litter box is going to accidentally get peed on a lot in that spot. That's what I'm saying! They didn't even do the research! She might think that's inclusivity, but we think it's just nuts! Like, right. <laughs> but first of all, you're talking like you're in a Marvel movie. That's already a L. Second of all, you're taking it seriously. And third of all, it's not even a funny comment. This is satire, right? This can't be for real. Yeah. It's like, you know the old saying, like, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If it sounds too dumb to be true, it probably is as well in the age of the internet. Like, I think that's a fair statement. Not always, of course. There are some fucking wild people out there. And sometimes, like, the wild people aren't even doing anything wrong. Like, l listen, I don't necessarily support it. But if there is a person who has decided for themselves that they would like to shit and piss in a litter box, as long as it's not affecting anybody else in a negative capacity, why do I care? Like, I'm not there. I'm not cleaning it for you. It's not a me problem. It doesn't affect me at all. I don't give a shit. Like I said, I don't support it.
like in any direct way. And I'm not saying critical support for litter box pissers, except for maybe the cats, like the, the feline cats that are doing it. Not the homo felines. There's just homo sapiens and felines, if you didn't know. This needs to stop. I'm glad people are focused on the real problems in our life. When I saw the litter box, I genuinely believed that this was satire. In our times, it's getting tough to tell the difference. Which is genuinely believed, which so now you actually think it's real. Like, you were right the first time, but you were like, wait, I really hate trans and queer people. So I'm willing to assume that this is real so that I can get mad at things I'm seeing on the internet. Because the dopamine, the neurons, they have to fire somehow. And there are a variety of other things I could do, like getting a hobby, like learning a new skill, like socializing with other human beings and making friends or caring for your family and interfacing with them. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do to get that dopamine that you want. And this is what you've chosen. Like, you've made your own bed. I guess you're going to have to sleep in it. But, um, I don't recommend it. <laughs> a litter box does me no good. I associate myself as a bear. Where should I go? I'm not feeling included. Well, you do it in the woods, bro. You don't do it in a public bathroom. You do it in the woods. Does a bear shit in the woods? Yes, dumbass. But I guess, you know, bears don't have the same intellect as us humans do. So maybe that's the problem here. Wait, so I could bring my animals like it's okay to bring a horse to the concert? What a great idea. Yeah, man. The horse... Listen, if you've trained a horse to be able to use a litter box this small with a fucking lid on it, I think people would pay to see that. Like, not necessarily like they would want to see it in action, but if that's like something the horse is skilled at doing, likely you have trained it to do other things that aren't urinating <laughs> that you could show people and people would want to see, you know, like cool tricks. Walk me through the process of how a human identifying as a cat would use it given they don't actually fit inside. Also, would it be considered impolite to leave the latch up or- That's a good question, actually. To leave the latch up or down? Well, typically when cats are using this specific configuration of a litter box, they're not doing anything with this latch here or whatever it is. Like, I don't, I don't actually know what- Is there like a- Oh no, there's like a thing here. It's like a cat door where they push it in and then it closes. And they could also push it out, I assume. That's what it looks like, kind of. Um, so that's even worse for, you know, the cat people out there. What the hell, Dorian? Do better. Do better. This is messed up. You have not done your due diligence. And frankly, it's not my job to educate you. I'm doing this pro bono. You can send money to me in the form of like a Twitch sub or a stream elements donation. Like, it's not my job to educate you on these things. Do better. <laughs> this has to be satire. Satire or serious? I'm ready to rock out in the litter box at Dorian's concert. Paste. Trolling hard. This person gets it. We are living in a comedy skit. Yes, that's because it's a comedy skit, Crypto Bro. These people, they claim that they're the smartest people. That's why they know about they know about Web3. They know about cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. Like, they got it all. They got... The cogs are turning. Their neuroplasticity is on point. And yet, <laughs> a very obvious joke is just flying over their head. But it's because it's too smart. It's like the meme with the Wojaks, where it's like the bell curve of intelligence quotient or IQ for you less educated people, where low IQ is here and then middle is like median IQ and then down here is like super high IQ. And it's like over here, like you're so smart to the point where like the jokes don't even affect you. Like you could interpret them as jokes easily, but it's like beneath you. So you just take everything you see at face value. <laughs> So like the super high IQ people are just like, the jokes are beneath me. So I'm just going to assume it's real. And then the low IQ people are like, that's got to be real because how could it not be? I'm dumb as hell. And then the median people, the fucking soy lords, the soy wojack and this marionette play that we're doing with these little puppets that we like to use is like the people who are like, that has to be satire. I mean, come on. that can't be the bit, you know? Anyway, I've scrolled past the shitting cat way too many times. But anyway, yeah, like this is, this is, it's just very funny to me. I don't know. There's not a whole lot to say about it. We should say that this seems to be a single use bathroom, you know, that you would lock inside. So it being all gender, even if you're scared for whatever reason about, you know, using an all gender bathroom, which is usually just like, I guess, ideally the platonic ideal for an all gender bathroom, frankly, because one, humans deserve better. They deserve better shitting quarters when they're in public. There is not enough public restrooms to begin with. In the great country, the United States of America, you gotta fucking spend money to take a shit out in public because, like, public toilets aren't really a thing. And that's an anti-homelessness measure, if you didn't know. 
it's worse for everybody just because the homeless people will utilize public facilities because they don't have access to ones at home because they don't have a home. They quite literally don't have a pot to piss in, so they find public restrooms to do so in. And unfortunately, they might also have to, you know, bathe themselves in the sink. And in order to get away around that, on the one hand, you could build government subsidized housing and give homes to these people, and that would solve the issue. Or... You can make everybody's life worse by shutting down and removing all public restrooms just so that homeless people have to shit in a back alley somewhere rather than in a public restroom. And like building the houses is more difficult, sure. But like in the long run, like you're making it worse for other people in the fucking society, even the ones that you think are actually human, which would be like people who have jobs and are having homes and whatnot. Even though homeless people are very much human and it's inhumane what is happening to them, the inhuman people are not the homeless people. They're the people who are in power, who are making the society in a way that allows for people to be homeless. That shouldn't be a thing. So many other comparable OECD nations whose homelessness rates are way lower than ours because they know that if you build houses that people can afford, they will populate them. So that's like one of the big reasons. Also why there's like no benches out there, or if there are, they look really fucked up. It's because instead of trying to make homes for homeless people, they just push them somewhere else, like Patrick Starr. Why don't we just take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else? They literally saw that episode of SpongeBob SquarePants and was like, yeah, that they they cooked. Why don't we just take the homeless people and push them somewhere else when the actual solution here is better wages, government subsidized public housing, decommodifying the housing market, generally speaking, yada, yada, yada. That's also why there's like no public spaces for people to hang out in where you don't have to spend money is also because it's anti-homeless and also because the automobile industry wants you to drive around and all the car infrastructure makes it harder to make infrastructure for human beings, you know, not hunks of metal. You know, you know, critical support to the caro sapiens out there, the people who identify as cars and like attack helicopters and whatnot. But I mean, we can make certain accommodations. Sure. Like, we can keep some, like, lubricant, some WD-40 in the bathroom and when you go in to freshen up to, you know, loosen your joints a little bit, make sure you're not creaky. I could use some of that for my knees, frankly, in my old age. <laughs> anyway, I'm a human being, not a car. I think most people are human beings and not cars. So having spaces where we could be there without the car and, like, get to them without the car, kind of cool. But uh, it's mostly because people in power, politicians, et cetera, et cetera, don't want to do the tried and tested option for helping people not be homeless, which is having houses for them to live in, which would then also help them keep a job, which would also help them stimulate the economy and participate in it in a constructive capacity, which people are usually hoping that people do. Instead, they're just like, yeah, man, you're just not going to have anywhere to hang out. You're going to have to go to a Starbucks and you can't hang out in there unless you buy a $20 venti caramel frappuccino unicorn blizzard and then you can hang out in there and it's gonna feel like shit because it's a fucking starbucks and it's corporate and sanitized anyway shit sucks man ollie london failed at being a korean because he's a white british man uh and now is perhaps succeeding at being a dipshit anti-trans grifter and it's sad to see you know sad to see how the mighty have fallen what if Ollie London's like plastic surgery wasn't completely botched and he didn't look like a skinwalker and like he actually ended up looking like passable, like passing? It was a giga passoid trans Korean. Well, how his life might have been like, I don't know. He would be in all this anti trans shit. <clears throat> that might have been the good ending, frankly. Like you can have your qualms about the racial and racist elements of what he's up to, but it probably would have been a better ending than this because now he's fucked in the head. Probably has a complex for the fact that he fucked his face up and maybe his body up trying to be Jimin from BTS, famous K-pop star. And now in order to distract himself from the absolute Sisyphusian anguish that he experiences on a day-to-day -day basis, seeing himself in a mirror, should there be any left in his home, he's got to convert that negative energy into more negative energy by being anti-trans online, even though he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's lost his damn mind and wants to blame any and everyone else. And yeah, that's the problem. Like, you have all these issues, clearly. Like, you're not mentally well, but you're making it everybody else's problem. And that's the issue that I have. Like, I'm okay if you're mentally ill in the privacy of your own home, but when you start shoving it down everybody's throats, then I start to get a problem with it, you know? <laughs> anyway. Um, I know it's funny. Dorian Electra's music is fine. Is their music good? I might need to check them out. You should check them out anyway. I don't fucking know. It's not for me. The music I think is good. Like if you can rate music objectively, you know, it's bipping, it's bopping. It's not quite my tempo, but you know, I vibe. Listen, if you like their aesthetics, that may be enough for you. Like you might be just able to tolerate the music, even if it's not your favorite, even as, if it's not your cuppa, as the Brits may say, your cup of tea. Also, they're very, very stylish and good looking, frankly. 
Uh, like right now, they're not like dressed to the nines, but here we'll end it off on a good note. Images.google.com. Dorian Electra. Here we'll have some selections. I'll run up real quick. Literally just like an anime character in real life, by the way. <clears throat> if that's interesting to you, I will support that thesis with data in a second. All right, here you go. Pretty good. Pale wave. The makeup goes crazy. We got the strawberry watermelon Yoplait yogurt hair, which I respect. Then you got, this is from their music video Flamboyant, which is pretty good. I don't know that they still do it, but for a while they were doing the uh, little pencil drawn on mustache. Which, like, if it's not to your taste, I can understand. But I respect it. You got this, it seems like Fallen Angel vibe, which is pretty sick. The makeup, once again, goes crazy. Got the red glove. That's a short glove, too. With the green hair, the Joker hair. Looks like a little bloody, maybe. Can't wait for interspecies transitions. Listen, if I could have a prehensile tail that I could use essentially as, like, another hand, I'm all for it. Like, even if it's mechanical. I ideally, it would be mechanical, because, like, if you're going to make it, like, human skin analog, it's going to kind of look weird. It look like a rat tail, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. So if it was mechanical, that'd probably be better, because, like, you get what we're going for, and it's cool, because it's, you know, metal, robotic. I would absolutely go for that, especially if it was plug and play. That would be the necessity there, because, like, you would have to be a side sleeper, which I already am with a tail, I feel. Like, sleeping on your back with a tail would probably be annoying if, like, your body overall isn't really formatted for it, which human bodies aren't. We grew out of having a tail, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending. Also, if, it, like, evolutionarily speaking, we came from apes, which don't have prehensile tails, so unlikely that should we have kept our tails, they would not have been useful for that. But, so, like, if it was plug and play, then you could just, like, unplug the tail and not have a problem when you're sleeping, you know, if you're a back sleeper, should you be so unlucky. Anime character, you love to see it. This is a JoJo villain, clearly. Now, it's not cosplay. This is just Dorian Electra. But they're looking like a JoJo villain. Even with the pose, this is pretty fucking good. Imagine looking like this. For the lesbians out there, you'll likely enjoy this one. We got the... Now, it's really good pixels. I love the pixels. We've got the um, 90s cat girl hair, which I fuck with. We lost something when we stopped making cat girls look like 90s cat girls. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know, let me give you an example. Aha! Yeah, here's the famous meme. This type of 1980s, 80s, sex and violence cat girl with wild frizzy hairs like the extinct megafauna progenitor of today's various cat girl species. I was off, you know, in my timeline. My apologies. The big hair is good. It's kind of like Cats the Musical, too. And the original designs for that, not the remake, the original designs for that were not that bad. It reminds me of the hair that's like um the one healer. In the Phantom Troop in Hunter Hunter. I forget her name. Machi. Her hair goes crazy. When she's into disguise is really good. So Machi, HXH, disguise. Yes, dude. We lost something as a society when this kind of hair was like moved away from in anime and outside of it, frankly. This is Machi. She's a healer. She can, like, if you lose an arm, she can sew it back on and it'll work again. Kind of crazy with like nen threads which is the magic system that exists in the world it's called nen you could do a variety of things with it she in this case can use magic sutures and stitching and whatnot also she's in disguise at some point and the hair is down and it's very good and you know we just lost something when this was no longer the mainstream that's all i'm saying anyway you know that's a tangent Sub to the second channel if you want chill vibes gaming and more con your content, by the way. You bitch you. I see you. I see you there. Come here. Listen here, kid. Come here. Sub to the second channel. It's good for you. FDA recommended organic, homegrown, grass-fed on your content. Straight from the source. 